The next drill is three right, three mid forehand footwork drill. You play three forehand drive on the forehand side, then three forehand in the middle. There are three phases in this footwork. In the first phase, you will always move outside foot first, then inside foot to move laterally in this drill. So you move right foot, then left foot to move to the middle, and left foot, then right foot to come back to the right side. I find that beginners often get confused with this footwork, but it only takes about five minutes to get used to it. Simply just repeat the footwork without the ball, and the muscles will remember how to move without thinking. In the second phase, you will take both feet at the same time to move. In the third phase, which is where you want to get to, you will take both feet to move and also use both feet to play the ball. So each time you play and recover, you take steps like hopping to rotate horizontally, not vertically. Another thing that you want to focus in this drill is that the moment you move for the next ball is when you can determine where the next ball is coming to. And we can indicate that at the very contact of the other player's pedal. If you move before your partner makes a contact, then you're guessing the next placement and you will most likely end up in a bad position to play the ball. So you must recover and watch your partner as you move so you can be in the best position at the best time. Always be conscious about the ball's rhythm and try to react and move accordingly so that your footwork and swing preparation are done in the ideal place and at an ideal time. The good thing about these 3 and 3 drills is that it gives you sufficient time to get ready for the next ball. Whether you are young and old, slow and fast, I recommend to start with this drill. Then once you get used to it, turn it into 2 and 2 and eventually 1 and 1 forehand footwork. Sometimes during a regular drill, which means that you know where the next ball is coming to, players tend to forget to actively watch and react to the ball. But I recommend that you bring your best focus, even in this simple drill, by training your reading skill and movement together and get the most out of it. Reading and translating that into movement is a very important skill in table tennis, as I explained in the video of rhythm of the ball and the body and you can start to train on these in these simple drills. And once you learn how to move back and forth and left and right, you can start to mix it up and customize depending on your needs because the number of drills that you can design with these two movements is unlimited. Thank you for watching Drills Part 1 and if you liked it, please subscribe, like and comment. I'll continue to upload the drills that you can do with your friends, partners and coaches. Bye.